Hello, class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Good. I'm pretty good. Excellent. Hello. Hello, Marvin. How are you? I guess he's, he has, ah, oh, there he is. He has the earphones. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good. How are you? I I very tired. Really? Why? I can I have to go to the Seguro Social. Oh, to the you had to go to the hospital, to the Social Security Hospital. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, is is boring? Very boring? Aburrido? Yeah, boring. Yeah, to yeah. be waiting all that time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I arrived to two two p.m. and exiting uh, six six uh, six ten six. Yeah, four hours. Yeah. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, you know that's life. That's life. Yeah. Yeah, you just yeah. have to be. That's why they call it. They, they, that's why they call it a patient. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have to be very patient. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Um. Hello, Haiti. How are you? Good evening, everybody. Nice to see you again. Nice to Good see evening. You. How are you? I'm on vacation. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's wonderful. That's why I look like a camarón. <laughs> ah, like a shrimp. Yeah. Um, and yesterday we climbed the Santa Ana's volcano. Oh, wow, that sounds interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. And were you um, were, were you at the beach or something? No. Yeah, from fr last Friday until until Monday. So Monday, wow, mm -hmm. wow! So, you you had a very nice vacation. Yeah, thanks, Carl. Okay, <laughs> your your uh, your you said you am I correct um, that you said your husband was going to come? Yeah, he's he's here. He's here. leaving on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's leaving on Sunday. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry I think to hear that. for the past two weeks. Oh, okay. That's been nice for you. Mm -hmm. Good, good. I'm, I'm happy to, to hear that. Thank you. Okay. Well, guys, um, well, let me say hi to everybody because um, now lo lots of you are connected. So just hi to everybody. <laughs> How are you guys today? How have you been? Fine. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Ivan. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How is the middle of the week? It's hard for me. It was a hard day? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe tomorrow will be a better day for you, hopefully. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Well, just think about it. Two more days and that's it. Okay, so, you know, sometimes that helps me go, okay, just two more days and then, you know, everything's a little more relaxed. Do you work on the weekends, Ivan? No. No? No. So there you go. Only two more days to go. And then you're free. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Well, let me take attendance, everybody, uh, before we forget. Um, one second. Okay. Um, let's start with Ana Claudia. Is Ana Claudia here? No? Oh, well, that's weird. Hmm, okay. All right. Um, eh, Andres. Present teacher. Great. Welcome, Andres. Um, Edgar. Edgar? No? Okay. All right. Janet. 
Janet. Very teacher. Welcome, Janet. Thank you. Fabiola. Present, teacher. All right, welcome, Fabiola. Hi, teacher. Uh, Heidi. Present, teacher. All right, welcome, Heidi. Thank you. Um, Irene. Irene, Irene. No, I can't see Irene. Okay. All right, Ivan. Present, teacher. All right, welcome, Ivan. Johnny. Is Johnny here? No? Um, just give me a second. I'm trying to think. Does it? Um, let's see. No, I'm trying to see if anybody works with Johnny, but I guess not. No, there's nobody here that works with them. Okay. Um, let's continue then. So Johnny's not here. Um, Josue. Oh, welcome, Josue. Okay. Um, is it raining where you are, Josue? Is it no. raining? No, no, not yet. Okay, it's just that before we were having a little bit of problems um, hearing you, but, and so I thought maybe it's, it was uh, because of the weather, but. Um, no, I'm uh, in my job, my more than, I, I don't need, inter, how do you say interference? The what? Interference. Oh, interference. I think it's interference. Yeah, it's probably you're probably right. Yeah. Okay. All right, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Welcome. Thanks. Jury. No jury. Uh, hi, teacher. Hi. I, I I'm here. Uh, look at me. Uh, I am driving, but I want to receive. I want to stay at that at that class. Can okay. I continue in that way? Because I'm going to listen because I am driving. Okay, okay, no problem. We understand. Okay. As soon as you get home, um, you can turn on the, the, the camera, okay? Okay, okay, All thank right. you, teacher. Yeah, no problem. Um, Carla. Present, teacher. Welcome, Carla. <laughs> Melissa. Yeah, hi, hi, good evening. Good evening, Melissa. Okay, um, and Luis, is Luis here? Luis, 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 no? Hmm. Welcome, Luis. Welcome, Luis. Okay, Manuel Alejandro? Eres quesada. Present teacher, good evening. Hello, welcome. Can you hear me? Thank you, teacher. Um, yes, Luis, we could we could hear you. Yes, it's fine. Uh, Marvin. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. And um, is Wendy here? Wendy, Wendy. No. Wendy is not here? Okay. She's not here. All right. Werner. Disappear away from here. <laughs> Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Here it is to rain, teacher. It's raining? Uh, yeah. Here it is to rain. It's going to start raining where I am, too. I can feel there's a big wind coming in, and I can feel it. Um, going to rain soon. So if at some moment you guys cannot hear me or my my internet goes out, you know why it is. Okay. Yeah, just sure. um I Yvonne. Present teacher. Yvonne, welcome. Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier. Okay. Uh Jenny. Any Jenny here? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Great. So thank you guys. Um, thank you guys.
guys. Um, we are going to. I'm here, teacher. I'm sorry. Good evening. Oh, teacher, Claudia, teacher. present. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> sorry, guys. I forgot. I always go back and I ask for the people that I'm sorry. I forgot to do that today. Oh, don't worry. So, Good evening, teacher. Oh, who else is here? Irene. Irene. Welcome, Irene. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So, Irene and Edgar. Let me check that. Irene. Me? Ana Claudia. Ana Claudia. Wow. Not you. Okay. Thank you. Irene. Where are you, Irene? Ah, yeah, I got you. Okay. All right. Let's see who else I have. I don't have. Johnny, I still don't have Johnny and Wendy. <clears throat> Francisco and Jenny. Those were the four people that I didn't hear an answer from. So Johnny, um, Wendy, Francisco Javier, and Jenny. Okay, still not here. Okay. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do uh, right now is we're going to start um, with our class. Please tell me when you can see the PowerPoint. Yes, I see it. Yes, yes. yes. Wonderful. Okay, perfect. So here we go. So, the, so this is the beginner module six, unit one, job listing. And today is Wednesday, May 26, 2021. It's day number three, and your facility is Okay, so let's start looking at, this is something that we saw last class and um, I asked you to do for homework or um, so that we could check it out. So we were looking at would be and could be, and we saw that would be and could be are what we use when we are talking about a possibility in the future, right? That's what we saw last class, right? Um, so would be and could be, they are both for possibilities in the future, right? Okay. And um, something that we, we talked about was the fact that uh, <coughs> would or could, or better said, the difference between would and could is that could is more talking about an ability, okay? Would is more general, okay? Um, and could is more, more being specific about an ability, okay? Now, we also mentioned that we always use the base form of the verb. Oh, sorry, just give me a moment. <clears throat> okay, we always use the base form of the verb, like in this case, um, would the verb to be. We always say would be, not would is, or would are, or would am. Okay, the same thing with could. We use would be, could be, not could am, could is, could are, right? We're always gonna use the base from the verb. And I asked you guys to do this activity for homework, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do at this moment right now, I, I'm going to ask you guys, um, you should have already done this, so I'm going to ask you guys to work in groups and you're going to compare your answers with your partner okay what were the answers that you gave for this all right everybody understands what what we're going to be doing yes yeah, teacher. yes okay good um so i'm going to divide you guys into probably groups of three mm -hmm. um And I'm going to give you guys, I would say, uh, I would give you guys five, five minutes. Okay, so we'll give you guys five minutes to discuss the answers. Okay, so let's open up all the rooms. You can go ahead and join your group. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. 
Um, Jerry, I know that you are in your um, car, so don't worry about it. You just just gotta, you know, just listen to the two girls talking, and if you have something to say, you can you can enjoy you can join in, okay? But don't worry. Okay. So much. Okay. 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 Um, I wasn't in the last class, but what I what I think that we have to do is to um, order the sentences using would or could. Yes. Okay. So I think in the number one, um, it will be a great opportunity to study abroad. Mm -hmm. The second sentence, um, uh, training could be beneficial for our employees. Mm -hmm. I, feel like I think it could be employees to be or employees could be um hold on or employees could be beneficial for a training la tengo yo la tengo like training could be beneficial for our employees i don't know okay mm -hmm. okay and number three um, um work in working less hours would be another benefit mm -hmm. the four sentences mm. weekends of will be a good option to have a happy stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in number five. Maria could be. Mm -hmm. Maria could be. Mm. Would be great. Uh -huh, great helping. helping. Mm -hmm. Maria could be great. Helping uh, inventory department. I'm not sure about that. Ajá, yo se tengo duda. Mm -hmm. No le he puesto el off. No tengo María could be great help in the inventory department. No. Eh, five. Number five, I don't know. Miss Jessica, we have a problem with number five and number number, number four, four and number four. five. <laughs> number five <laughs> for what? Four and number five. Four. Number four and number five. Yeah. Yes. What's the problem? In the platform, we put uh, right. We are trying many, sentences many ways and, to write the yeah. sentences, and all the ways are wrong in the mm -hmm. platform. In the platform, everything is wrong. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, no. Uh, Sentences one, two, and three is correct, but number four. Number no. five. Four and number five. Wow. Too much. 
right or not. It doesn't matter what the answer you put, it's always wrong. Okay. In number in number four, I have okay. weekends off will be a good option to have a happy start. Yes. Where I read I read yeah. in the in the platform and yeah. it's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, it doesn't accept it in the platform? No. Mm -mm. No. And I, I write another mm, way. Forms, uh, another way, yeah. Um, a good option to have a happy staff will be weekend off, but weekend off will be a good option to have a happy staff, it's incorrect. Huh. Okay, let me just find, if I can find the answers here, just give me one second. Um, okay, sorry, all right, I got it. So what did you put? What was originally what you put? In number four, weekend off would be a good option to have a happy staff. Does it say staff or employees? The staff. The staff. Mm -hmm. Okay which is a little different from, from here because here we have employees. Oh, no, no, we have staff. No, number three is employee. Number four is staff. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, just give me a second. Okay, I'm gonna actually have to get back to you guys on that because I need to find... Um, Okay, I need to find the information on the, the platform and I'll get back to you guys on okay. that. Okay, can I share, share it? Um, sure, it's just that I want to do it from my, 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 from my end oh, okay, because okay. I, I have access to the answers. Okay, okay. So that's why. Um, and sometimes it's, sometimes it's not that the answers are wrong. That's sometimes it's not that. It's just that sometimes um, the way that they have programmed it is a little different from what you guys are writing. It's like remember, for example, in um, there was one in last in the last course, I think it was or two courses ago, that you just had to put the answer and and then it was okay. Um, okay, but in this case, you have to scramble the sentence. Yeah. Okay, let me see. I'm looking at it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know what the answer, I know what the problem is. Okay, what about number five? What did you write for number five? I, I try many ways, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't have a sense uh, with, with the sentence. I, I don't know how to unscramble that sentence that okay. it makes sense. What, what did you put? Uh, Maria could be great in health, uh, the department of inventory, and Maria could be great help in the inventory department. That's the answer. Um, but it's wrong in the okay, platform. What do you say? Maria could be? Great help. Oh, okay. You're missing a word. Maria. Great of help. No. Could be? Great. No. Maria could be? Mm, a great, I nope. guess. But do, oh, you okay. don't have A? In the in the words in right. the in... of a great help of great help. It's like when you say de gran ayuda, de gran ayuda. So but you don't have the 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 the, the letter a. In no, the... no, 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 no. Don't put a. a. It's of, o f, of. Ah. Okay. Maria could be of great help. 
María sería de gran ayuda. No de una gran ayuda, de de gran ayuda. Ah. Okay. Okay. And the other one, guys, I'm sorry, you're, you're right. This is not your fault. Number five, number four is not your fault. I'm actually going to report it because the, the problem with number five is that in number five, sorry, number four, sorry. Number four. The word is staff, but in the answer, it's not staff. It's employees, which is the same thing, right? Employees and staff are the same thing, but it's just a different word. Uh, okay, it's a mistake. Yeah, it's a mistake. So just change, just replace the word um, staff for the word employees. And then employees it, sing singular. No, plural. Plural. Yes, okay. because employees, all the employees make the staff. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, guys, so I'll see you in the main room, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Hello, Jenny. Hello. Sorry, teacher. I'm late. Oh. Well, oh. I'm, I'm happy that you are able to join us. That's the important thing. Okay. okay. I'm happy that you are here. Right. I I have that all day busy. <laughs> I know. I stay here. <laughs> yeah, I, I we really do appreciate um, your commitment. Yeah, so thank, thank you. you. <laughs> okay, guys, welcome back. Um, sorry, I gave you more time than um, than I had originally planned, but it's just that um, we just noticed that um there seems to be a little an error in the platform right mm -hmm. yeah um which is it's yeah it is it, it is a, a, an error from the platform but you will find out that the idea is the same it's just that they use a different word okay so um well we're, we're going to check the answers together and then i will go over the error so you guys can see it in the platform you don't get confused okay so um let me share so let's start with the first one um so the first one i would like um let's see oops I would like, um, Luis, would you do us the great favor of giving us the answer for number one? Yes, teacher. Uh, number one, to study abroad, it could be a great opportunity. Um, almost. Just try, just um, reverse it. Reverse it. Instead of saying, instead, instead of starting with to study abroad, to reverse it. Can you hear me, teacher? I can't hear you enough well. Oh, okay. Can you guys? I'm having trouble with the internet. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Um, I said that your answer is very close. I just need you to give me the answer reversed. Instead of starting with to, um, to study, start with it. Ah, uh, okay. Um, maybe um, a great opportunity. Uh, start starting with the word it. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. 
it uh, will be a great, um, it will be a great opportunity to study abroad. No. Like that? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's go on to number, thank you very much. Okay. All right, let's go to number two. Okay, number two, I would like um, Anna Claudia to help us with number two. Okay, it's a training could be beneficial for our employees. Like that? Uh, yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right, um, let's continue with number three. Thank you very much. Um, let's start with number three. Let's have um, Yvonne. Yvonne, could you help us with number three, please? Okay. Working less hours will be another benefit. Like that? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, for number four, I will ask Fabiola to help us with number four. We can, weekends off will be a good option to have a happier stop, stop. Like this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. And number five, we will have um, Edgar. Edgar, help us please out with number five. Number five is uh, uh, Maria Colby uh, of great help in the inventory department. A great help in? No, in, in the in inventory department. Okay. Like this, Edgar? What? Like this? Maria Colby of uh, of great help in the inventory department. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Uh, uh -huh. Teacher, no, it's first department inventory. Sorry. Okay, that's that's my next question. My next question is. Um, is there anything that you guys would like to change? I think this is um, the right answer, or would you guys like to change? Peter, in the last one, it would be correct. If we write Maria could be great help in the department of inventory. Um, okay, let me explain something. Sorry, guys. Okay, uh, <laughs> sorry, I I I I, I scared you. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry, let me let me explain something. Um the the word inventory here is used as an adjective. Okay, and we're talking about, this is describing what kind of department. For example, we can say um, the 
it's, it's remember that in English we don't use so much the the of to talk about what kind. We just put the the adjective first and then the the, the noun. So for example, to give an example, washing machine. Machine is the 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 noun, and we say what kind of machine? It's a washing machine. So it's not a machine of washing. It's a washing machine. Okay. It, the same thing. Um, for example, um, like ta dining table. Dining table. So it's a tape. It's the dining table. So the the noun is table. And what kind of a table is it? It's a dining table. So the dining is an adjective. We don't say a table of dining. We say dining table. So in this case, inventory department would be okay because the word inventory acts like an adjective and the adjectives always go before the noun. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay, so um, yeah, so that there you go. Um, anything else that you guys would change or you have questions about? No? No. Okay, so let's check. It would be a great opportunity to study abroad is correct. Do you guys understand what the word abroad means? Not really. Extranjero, exterior. Sorry? Estudiar en el extranjero. Yeah, so the word abroad means in another country. Okay, that's abroad. So uh, abroad could be any country that is not your country. So uh, even studying abroad could be like studying in Guatemala. That would be abroad. So yes, Guatemala is next door to us but it's still abroad because it's in another country. Okay, that's abroad. Okay, all right, let's take a look at the uh, next word. The next one is a training could be beneficial for our employees. Is that correct? Yes? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I agree, it's correct. Okay, next. Working less hours would be another benefit. Is that okay? Yes. 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 Excellent. Weekends off would be a good option to have a happy staff. Yes, it's correct. Okay. Yes, but the platform <laughs> put it like a wrong. Right. Me too. I, I know. I know. Um Yes, that, that, is, that is the correct answer for this. It's just that in the platform, what has happened is the following. I'm going to explain. In the platform, um, what they have done is they changed the word staff. Employees. For the word employees. Oh, let's That's make it. it right now. Okay. So yes, that is an error that I will report, but if you guys want to do it and, and have it correct now, there's the answer. Just, you just have to replace the word staff for the word employees, and then it will be right. But if we Take add care. employees, we, we, do, we need to take off the word A. Yes, yes, because uh, have have... employees is plural, it's uh -huh. not a collective noun. Mm -hmm. So it's better, I think, to wait that they fix the error. Oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait, wait. And, and, bueno, no sé, se elimina una A también. Yes, ah. yes. You have to drop an A. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me, let me just make sure. Let me just check the platform right now. Just give me a second. That's and then... right, Werner. Um, let me uh, just give me a second. I'm looking it up on my on my cell phone because on the computer I won't. It's 
since I'm since I'm sharing the screen, it's a little difficult to check it on the computer. So let me just get into it uh, into the platform through my cell phone. If they are not, not going to fix it, we can switch it and write it down as Werner shared on the chat. Yeah. In order to have the points. Yeah, you're you're right. But I just mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that, mm -hmm. that that's the correct answer. Okay. So I, yeah. Okay. You know, I don't I don't want to give you the wrong answer and then everybody's gonna say, but teacher, you said this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me, let me just clarify and make sure before before I validated. Okay, just give me a second. It's taking a little bit longer than I expected. But we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, it says here, um, yeah, yeah. You're gonna, yeah, according to the answer, you would have to eliminate the, the other A, yeah. Uh, yeah, just as Warner has written in the chat, okay? Okay. So let, let me tell you something. If you guys wanna do it right now, like, like this evening, let's say, go ahead, go ahead and write that answer so you get it correct in the platform. But I will be reporting it, and when it's reported and they change it, then obviously the answer is going to be different, right? Okay. Ah, okay. So just just to keep that in mind, okay? So you know, try both answers. If it, it try this try this answer that we have in the chat first, and if it doesn't work, it's because they have already fixed it. Okay. Oh, do they fix it so quickly? Uh, not tonight. They won't fix huh. it. <laughs> No, it all depends when you do it, right? So I don't know if, if you guys are going to do it till tomorrow. I don't know. It might be already fixed, right? So it all depends. Okay. okay. And the last one, number five. What do you guys think? Do you want to change something or do you agree? I agree. It's okay. Yeah, I agree too. Maria could be of great help in the elementary department. The word of goes here because when you say what could be of great help is when you say, for example, in Spanish, Maria podría ser de gran ayuda. De gran ayuda, right? That, that's why the of is there. So the of is not over here, it's over here. Because we can't say Maria could be great help. Okay, you say de gran ayuda. No, Maria podría ser gran ayuda. Okay. All right. Any questions, guys? Okay. We will. Sorry. I have a question with the platform. With the you told with the, you told with the English corporate staff in my case. Oh, okay. Um, yes, I, I, I did ask about your case and they said that um, we are waiting on an answer probably by the end of this week, we will have an answer um, to see what happens. Okay, so we're still waiting if, if, uh, if you continue with us, they will make changes. But if um, if if it's possible to get your your group open, then you would be enrolled in the other group. Okay. So just okay. Thank, you. thank okay. you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, teacher, I'm sorry. I uh, we had a question. We we been working with uh, Edgar in in Juan Francisco. Uh, we've been looking all the sentences and we just want to make sure for example in this kind of scramble exercises right. uh, if we find that there is a second verb involved this never will be 
together or following up that will be or could be. Could be part of the complement at the beginning or at the end, right? So I cannot say, for example, will be working for that. Uh, uh, Maria will be staying at home. I, I don't know if it's used in that way, but we've been just taking a look. We've been observing that. I don't know if we are correct. Um, saying, for example, would be, and then the verb in an ing. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is possible. Ah, okay. It's possible, but that is another topic. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so right now, in this, according to this, we're going to just kind of keep it simple. Uh huh. Okay. Thank and you. actually, just just to clarify, even though we're not there, that's like a little bit higher level. Um, if we put, for example, would be working to give an example. Mm -hmm. The word working is actually not a verb. Uh, okay. Okay, it, it gets a little, I know it might sound a little complicated when I say that. So if you just got confused, forget what I just said. <laughs> okay. No, don't worry, don't worry, I understand. But, but so the structure here will be the subject plus wool or cool plus the base uh -huh. verb to be and uh -huh. the complement. Ah, okay. Would, yeah, what or could, and then uh, normally we're gonna put be, but okay. if it's not be, then it would be another verb in the base form. Mm -hmm. And then the complement, right? Okay. Whatever verbs goes after the wool or cool must be on the base form. That's ah, okay. That is 100% okay. of the time. Okay, thank you. Okay. Anything else, guys? Teacher, um, the, the other, the odd sounds, uh, the number five, uh, Maria could be held in inventory of the department grades, is correct? The other option? No, no. Could be held in inventory of the department grade? No. Mm -hmm. You could put Maria could be of help in inventory of the department, the right? Great inventory department, but that doesn't really make too much sense. I mean, grammatically speaking, it's okay, but great inventory department sounds like like the department is so big, you know. So I I, I mean. Grammatically speaking, it's okay, but I, I would say that it makes better sense to put great before help. That it's not incorrect. Okay, teacher. Okay, does that make sense, Warner? So we would have to say Maria could be of help in the great inventory department. The great would have to be before the inventory. Okay, because great is an adjective and inventory would be an adjective too. But the thing is about English that you will learn later on is that there is a structure for, it, like when you have more than one adjective, there is a, a structure as the order of the adjectives. So, cuando tienen varios adjetivos, no simplemente los pueden poner en cualquier orden que se les venga a la mente. Tiene, o sea, hay un, aún con los adjetivos, tenemos un orden en que tienen que ir. Y, pero claro, esa es otra clase, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, sí, por eso es que tenemos que poner great before inventory. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, all right, guys, we're going to move on. And... The next part is the following. So this is gonna be your turn. It's gonna be a chance for you guys to put this into practice. You're gonna prepare a two minute presentation about the benefits that you would bring to a new company if you had the opportunity to work in it. Okay, so think about, 
think about being in a job interview and you want to get that job, right? You, the, I mean, you really, really want that job. You know, it's your dream job. Okay. So you want to, you want to present yourself in the best way possible. So you're going to write about all of the things that would convince some uh, of the manager or the supervisor or the owner, whoever it is that is that want, that um, you need to be hired. So I want you to think about your abilities and your qualifications and what are the possibilities of you, what, what possibilities would you bring to that company? Okay, does that make sense? Yes? Any questions? Okay, so I want you right now to think about it. I'm going to give you a few minutes. Um, I would say about, I would give you about eight minutes Eight, nine, eight to ten minutes will 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 give you guys to write the information that you want to um, write for your two minute presentation. Okay. okay. Now, I preferably I don't want you to be writing everything because in real life we don't go around writing everything, memorizing and then saying it. That's not how we do it in real life. In real life, we just have like the ideas of the things that we want to say, and then we say it spontaneously. So that's what I want you to do. Try to write down the ideas of your, of your abilities and your qualifications and your, the possible things for the future that you could bring to this company, okay? All right, so just write down the ideas. And then in a moment, we're going to be working. Um, well, actually, I'm going to, because we're going to work in pairs in the assigned breakout room. We're going to interview your classmates, ask them why they would be a great asset for your company. So you're going to be, remember, remember the word asset? We talked about this yesterday. So why would they be so valuable to your company? So you're going to be basically interviewing each other to see if you can convince your classmate that you're a good candidate for that job, okay? So I'll give you a few minutes right now to write down. And of course, I'm always here if you guys wanna ask me questions. I'm going to stop sharing so that I can see all of your faces better. I can see, yeah, now I can see everybody. Because when I'm sharing, I can only see a few of you at the time at the same time. So remember, try to use um, can for abilities. And, you know, it's not a bad thing to use the word can't. Remember, you can say can't to talk about things that you don't have abilities for. That's okay. As long as you compensate it for something positive. Like you say, for example, I can't do this, but I'm a fast learner. Or I can't blah, 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 but I'm taking a course. Jenny, you were gonna say something? Also use the would be, could be.
Any questions, guys? Okay, how are you guys doing? Do you need more time? Are you ready? Almost ready. Okay, please. Okay. Almost ready? All right, guys, I'm hoping that everybody is finished, that you guys are ready. So I'm going to be assigning you right now to work in pairs. Um,
Okay, so we're, I'm going to sign you right now to work with a partner. And what you're going to do is just uh, what we what we discussed. I'm going to actually um, give you right now. I'm going to share the the PowerPoint so you guys can remember, right? So the idea is to work in in pairs in the assigned breakout room, interview your classmates, ask them why they would be a great asset for your company. So you're gonna ask your partner, okay, so tell me, what do you have to offer our company? You're gonna, you're gonna hear your, your classmate presenting themselves and you're going to judge according to what they've mentioned, would you hire them? Or maybe you're like, mm, I'm not convinced, okay? Hopefully you are. Hopefully you're gonna be convinced, okay? So let's open up the groups. Um, I'm going to give you guys, uh, let's see. Okay. I'm gonna give you guys eight minutes. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm gonna, before I, I do that. Attendance. Let's, yeah, let's take attendance because it's, it's right on time. Okay, so Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Andres. Present teacher. Edgar. Present teacher. Janet. Present teacher. Fabiola. Fabiola. I think Fabiola is having trouble with her internet, so she's probably not gonna be here. Okay. Um, Heidi. Sorry, present teacher. Wonderful. Irene? Irene? Present. Uh, Ivan? Present teacher. Great. Johnny? No? Josue? Josue? Present teacher, I'm sorry, I have a problem with this. Okay. Present okay. teacher. Jerry? Jerry? Present teacher. Present teacher. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Melissa? Present teacher. All right. Uh, Luis? Luis? Present teacher. Okay, great. Manuel? Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Marvin? Present teacher. Great. Wendy? Wendy? No, Wendy? Okay. Uh, Werner? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Suleima, Yvonne? Present. All right. Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier? No. Jenny. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so now that we've taken our attendance, let's open up the group. Teacher. Hi, hi, yes. Fiona. Yes, okay, great. You signed in, thanks. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to open up the groups right now. Okay, and go ahead and join. Teacher. Yes, Carla? I didn't hear my name. Oh, I'm sorry. But I'm here. <laughs> Carla? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you, Carla. All right. So I, I, I ready to put you down. Wonderful. Thank you. I'm sorry about that. Uh, 
Um, Fabiola, are you able to join? Alone, teacher. <laughs> no. Eh, ¿Le llegó el, el, la invitación? No, 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 no me fijé, pero aquí no me aparece, no me fijé quizás. Va, entonces la voy a, va, ahorita. Ok. Hello, Edgar, you can join the group. That the company. For instance, in my case, uh, my friends, in different areas uh, help me to 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 see the different resolve the problem using different point of view okay this is the one this is one uh, the many years that i have other 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 one many years of experience that i have in different areas like uh, service Manufacture and therapy. Well, well, we two is enough for me. I don't know. What do you think? No, I think uh, that the experience, um, knowledge that is a great asset because. Uh, it's important in, in, the, in the company to solve the problem and you have a lot of experience. I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, Jerry, um, are you already home or are you still in your car? Yes, I am in my car. Uh, oh, no, I... Okay. Todavía no llega a la casa. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, okay. No, I am I am in a place. I I, I stopped right now. Oh, okay. okay. I see. Uh, is there any way of turning on the, the, the camera? Or todavía no se puede. Yes. I... Oh, but it's dark. <laughs> it is a place that I am. I am. Yeah. It's okay. No worries. No worries. It's okay. It, don't worry about that, Jerry, then. Okay. Just. Ah, okay. Yay. Say so mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That is my daughter. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, it's with your family. Nice. Nice. Okay. So you're. In my you're family. I am. I am in vacation. That is the reason that why I I oh. out, I out of, Hello. Um, outside of my house. Ah, okay, okay, I understand. All right, no worries. Okay, I just wanted to 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 know if you were there or not, or you had already gone home or not. But it's okay, no worries. Okay, um, I'll see you guys in a bit in the main room. Okay. Okay. Okay, Yuri. In in my case, I think I will be. <laughs> Ah, pues eso, algo así entendí. Entonces sí, así debería de ser. Bueno, opino que tal vez sí. Le voy a preguntar al Dani cuánto paga. ¿Cuánto paga, mi amor? Hi, teacher. Eh, Hi, teacher. Con respecto al, pa al párrafo, debe ser como una com la compañía como nosotros deseamos que sea. Mm -hmm, like, what qualifications have? 
to convince that you are the perfect candidate. Ah, okay. I, uh, teacher, I, I told to Manuel that I love my company, <laughs> but I think uh, there are many uh, benefits uh, that they don't have. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For example, I, I just write one. Okay. Can I tell you? Sure. Okay. Uh, the company has a long list of benefits. For example, the capacitation area is located in San Salvador, but could be invent a line training. In line training, would be a good option to train depart, depart, departmental, or how can I say? Departmental. Departmental team. I talk about the, the Occident uh, area and... No, Occident... Uh, sorry, sorry, is... Um, I forgot this one. Okay. Um, let me... I, for, I, I always get confused. Occident is... Occident is lo mismo de... No, es lo opuesto de oriente, ¿verdad? Es el poniente, ¿verdad? Ajá. Okay, so occidente es poniente, ¿verdad? Occidente es poniente, no. Sí. Eh, ok, occidente would be western. Uh -huh. Western. So, entonces sería to trade departmental team in west. In the west. Uh, west in, in the west. In, yeah, in the western part of El Salvador. El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Algo así era, uh, something like that it, it is the exercise. It, what, the idea is that you have to that Manuel was teacher, a teacher. manager. I can hear you. Give me a minute. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. Imagine that Manuel is the manager of, uh, of the company that you want to work. Uh -huh. Right? Or or whatever the job that you want, the perfect job for you. And you want to convince Manuel that you are the perfect candidate for that job. So you have to, you have to sell yourself. Tiene que venderse. I, I know this, I know that, I, I can do this, I can do that, right? With this part, I think I convinced to Manuel. <laughs> okay. Manuel, see? Because he is agree, agree with this. Okay. What do you think, Manuel? Excuse me? Did she convince you? ¿Quién le dice que usted está convencido de lo que le dije, Manuel? Ah. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes. Carla is the perfect candidate for the job. Perfect. La contrataría. Así. Yes. Para el momento. When can Con you doble. start? Doble salario. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did you hear that, Carla? I creo que está un poquito ocupada, Carla. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, that, that's great. Sorry. That's okay. Sorry, Carla. <laughs> uh, Manuel says that he's going to give you a <laughs> salary. <Ooh>, el sindicato. <laughs> <laughs> Okay,
recording in progress. The teacher is here right now. <laughs> okay. Bueno, por lo menos hoy no pueden quejarse de decir, yo no sabía que se estaba grabando la clase. <laughs> Impossible to say that. <laughs> okay. Everybody, everybody has to has to verify that that yes, you 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 know, right? Okay. All right. Um, so guys, what did you think? Were you convinced with what your classmates told you? Do you, would you say that they are the perfect candidate for the job? Would you hire them? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Hire <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, good. Yes. Okay, good, excellent. Hired in the moment. You say, when can you start? Yeah. Right? <laughs> good. That's wonderful. Imagine that would be wonderful if a job interview you say, okay, when can you start? Right? That's what we aim for. Good. Okay. All right, guys. Well, today what we're going to do, we're going to, um, we're now going to look at the conversation. But before we look at the conversation, let's discuss these questions. How long have you worked in your company and have you, uh, and have you occupied different positions? So tell me first, like, this is open my uh, open microphone, so um, you can open it up whenever you want. Um, so tell me, how long have you been at your company? At the at this current company, how long have you been there? In my case, nine years. Ten years, Melissa. Okay. Nine. Wow. Oh, nine. nine. <laughs> yes. Okay, but that's almost ten. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, good. In my case, almost four years. Four years, Jerry. Okay, good. What about the rest of you? How long have you been at your company? Uh, six years. Josue has been there 10 years. No, six. six. Oh, sorry, six years. Sorry. Yeah. I can't hear very well. Me, me too, teacher. Me too, six, six years. Oh, really? Did you start together? And now uh, <laughs> Josue is in El Poi. Oh. El Poi border. Yeah. Really? Yeah. In Chalatenango. Oh. Not far away from him, from me. So, so you, you, you've never seen each other in the company? Mm, I think I, uh, one maybe, or two. Maybe. So maybe. you met here. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Last year, I, I think. So so you have seen each other in the company? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, okay, okay. So you have met. All right. Okay, good. In my case, 16, teacher. Who said 16? 16, yes. Oh, word. No. You've been there 16 years. Yes. <laughs> oh. I have 22, teacher. 22. <laughs> 22. Yeah. You me. You've been there 22? Yeah, 22. Wow, my goodness. Wow, you. My first, my first and oh. my unique work. Your only, your, your first yeah. and only job. Yeah. Oh, wow. Me 15 years in the company. 15 years, Manuel. Wow, that's yeah. my, 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 my field work. Your first job. First That's a job. job. Uh -huh. Me too. I'm, a, I'm about that. This uh, coming June the, the 5th, I will be 15 years too. 15 years. Wow. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, oh. Uh, I have 25, teacher. <laughs> Sorry, who said uh, 25? 25. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Can you imagine working in a bank environment? No, my goodness. <laughs> And it's been my first job too, and I hope it will be the last two. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good night. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's very encouraging because, um, you know, now people change jobs very, very easily. Yeah. In my company, there is a, a man who have 15 years working that. The last year, he, se retiró. How do you say se retiró? He retired. He he retired. 
how 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 long did you say? Fifteen years. Fifteen or fifty. All his life. Hold on, Luis. Fifteen or fifty? Uh, fifty. Sorry, fifty. Fifty years. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. Yes. That's yeah. That's 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 amazing. Fifty years. <laughs> Almost the founder. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yes, yes. The, the company have uh, 15 years. 50, 50, 50. 50, 50, sorry, sorry, 50 years. <laughs> okay, wow. So he was almost the founder, wow. Yes. Incredible. But that's, that's nice to have that loyalty to a job. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now I've noticed that many of you have many years at at a single company that's actually quite amazing now let me ask you have you occupied different positions or have you had the same yes job? Yes. yes yes in the same the same job anybody has had different positions at your job i have me. had a different yes. me in my case yes teacher i i uh, star in traffic marshal and uh, when uh, after one years I como se dice me ascendieron they um they gave you uh in promoted I promote to yeah, the you were promoted they gave you a promotion huh uh, I promote to uh, place the operator system. Mm, okay. Okay. That sounds interesting. And now you're doing that job or you're doing something different, Marvin? Uh, the, the, uh, I have three, four, four years in this place. Oh, okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. Who else? Who else told me that you had had different positions? I have almost all the positions me? in the branch. Started as a cashier. Uh huh. And, and then as um, um, a RM, assistant branch manager, and then branch manager. Oh, okay. What are you doing right now? I'm branch manager. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. That's wonderful. And you started as a, as a cashier. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good for you. Excellent. Very, very good. What about you, Luis? You said also yes. that you've had different positions. Yes. I, I start at assistant on planning and then I was promoted to the line scheduler. And then I was promoted to supply planner. And two and a half years ago, I was promoted to the planning leader. Okay, wow. Yes. And all of those positions, which one have you liked the most? Sorry? From all of those positions, which ones have you liked the most? Um, when I was an... No, no, sorry. Like, um, all, all, all was the different kind of uh, interesting things, but right. um, I think the, the, the last one, like a planning leader, because I know I have all, all um, perspective, how do you say? Perspective. Perspective of the company, of the almost of um, the, the group. In, in our company, we have a different uh, group that are that is um, interact for a uh, different uh, uh, line of productions, uh, branches. Oh, okay. Yes. That sounds interesting, okay. Yeah. Yes. So now, so now that you've had uh, experience in different areas, you, you understand yes. better. Yes, yes. I understand, okay. Okay, good, excellent. 
Okay, guys, so now let's take a look here at um, our conversation between, oh, guess who's back? <laughs> Luis. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. This is actually uh, Luis's twin. His name is Julio. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> And uh, this is Anna, okay? And so Julio and Anna are having a conversation. And I need someone to help me with uh, Julio and someone to help me with Anna. <laughs> me? <laughs> me <laughs> yeah. We'll be Anna. I will be Anna too. I will be Anna. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that works. Okay. Okay, yeah. go for it. So okay. who are you going to be, Luis? No, Julio. you are gonna be Anna. Yes, I'm gonna. I'm ah, gonna be okay, Julio. okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> um, I start right now. Uh -huh. Yes, right. Okay. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have no work since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Que chivo como ha viajado esta Ana. Yeah, she's your twin. <laughs> yes. Oh, yo quisiera viajar. Yo sí. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you very much. Very good, Ana and Luis. Very good. All right, so um, let's go over, first of all, the, um, the questions about vocabulary. So please, you can go ahead and use a chat, write the words that you want me to explain. Until. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have two words. Anything else? All right, so I guess we'll, the, those are the only two. Okay, so the first word that we have here is until, okay, until, um, and the other word is since, which are actually the two words, two, two of the words that are, um, that are in bold. So the word until, what that means is um, that, something happened and it finished at a, at a particular moment, okay? So in this case, um, Anna went to Panama. She was there for eight months and she stopped being in Panama in the moment that the project was done. So she stayed up to that moment, okay? So she stayed from eight months up to the moment that the project was done. That is until, okay? Does that make sense? Yes? Yes. Um, yes. Uh, how would you say until in Spanish? Hasta. 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 Exactly. Hasta. So, these are 
nouns as prepositions? No. There are these? Uh, no, these are um, time expressions. Ah, okay, time expression, okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, oh, I, I noticed that there was also the word quit. So I'm gonna circle, I don't know where quit is though. Where is quit? Ah, quit, yes. Quit means to stop working somewhere because you don't want to continue. Not because the company says bye, but because you decide. You decide that you don't want to work there anymore. Okay, that's quit. Okay? So when you say, okay, I'm working at this company, but I don't want to continue working there because I don't like it or because um, or because um, you know I have a better job offer all right or because um, the it's too stressful for me et cetera et cetera then you quit it means you say I don't want to continue working there Renuncia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. exactly Okay. Okay. And the other word is the word since. Okay. Now, be, uh, be uh, actually going to talk about pronunciation at the same time. The word is since. Please do not pronounce it science. Okay, it's not science, but science sound, sounds more like science here. It's not science, it's since. Okay? Since. 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 Okay? And what it means is um, from the moment until now. Okay, from that particular moment until this moment. Okay, for example, um, since okay i you could say for example i have had the same position at my job since i started that means in the moment i started all the way until now in all of that period of time that's since does that make sense Yes. Teacher, I have a question. Can we use since for specific time? For example, I've been here since 8 a.m. Yes. Can we use? Ah, okay. Because you start at a specific time, which is 8 a.m., and you continue until this moment. Ah, okay. 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 Yeah. So anytime you're talking about a specific time that you start, and you continue until a specific moment, that's since. Okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, or for example, you can say, I am allergic to peanut butter, or I have been allergic to peanut butter since I was a child. So the moment I was a child, it started, the, the allergy started when I was a child, and then it continues up to now. I continue being allergic to peanut butter. Okay. All right. Then we have the word. Oh, no, that's it. That's not the words. Um, the last um, one. Is this an expression? No. No. Uh, for long, yes, but not the whole thing. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. What is for long? What does that mean, for long? Por mucho. Uh-huh. Por mucho tiempo is actually for long. Okay. So. Teacher, but you don't need to write uh, time, long no. time. No. It is possible to write it, but then you would have to say for a long time, not just for a long time, 
is for a long time, but it's not necessary. You can just say for long or for a long time. Okay. Okay. All right. Teacher, okay. the pronunciation, yes. the, well, work, 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 okay. Because remember the K, the K, remember the, the, uh, of the pronunciation of the when, exercise we made. Okay. <laughs> so when you say work, there's no vibration. That means that you have to put a T. So it's work. Okay. Does that sounds good. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Great. Okay, anything else about pronunciation? Should I work this a pronunciation? Anything else about a pronunciation? So be careful with this word. This is quit. Quit. And it should not be confused with other words that are similar. Okay, we have quit, quite, and quite. Do not confuse it. These, all of these words are very different from each other, okay? So quit means to stop working or stop doing something, okay? That's quit, okay? Quite, quite is like, very similar to the word very. Like, um, for example, um, she's quite, she's quite pretty. You know, that she's very pretty. It's a little bit less than very, but it's just, the idea is there. And then we, we have, have quick too. Quick, yes, yeah. Quick. Me too. Sorry. I. Sorry, Warner. Not teacher. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay, that's okay. All right. Um, and then this word here is quiet. Quiet, which means to be silent. Quiet. So this is quit. Can everybody repeat after me? Quit. 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 Quiet. 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 Okay. So if you notice, there is a difference between these two. Um, quite is quite. one syllable, quite, and this is two syllables, quiet. 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 Okay. Quit, quite, quiet. Exactly. Quit, quite, quiet. Quit, quite, quiet. Okay. Anything else? Any other vocabulary words that you want me to go over? No? Okay. All right. All righty then. Teacher, okay. yes. ¿cómo puedo decir que alguien no dura en el trabajo? How can I say? How can I say uh, ella no dura en los trabajos? <laughs> Okay, um, she doesn't uh, keep a job. She doesn't keep um, a job easily. Oh, she can't, better said she can't keep a job. Mm -hmm. She can't keep a job means like, ella en no puede mantener los trabajos, no, no se puede quedar. And, and that could be because of her, she is her because she quits or because they fire her. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So she can't keep a job. Okay. All right, guys. So now that you've done, we've done that. Let's discuss these questions. 
in, in groups. I have here some questions. When did Anna start working in Unilever? When did she stop working there? What did she quit? Why did she quit her job in Unilever? And have you ever done independent jobs? Okay, I'm gonna ask you guys to work in groups oh. and discuss those questions. Uh, so let me get you in groups. I'm going to get you in groups of three. Um, Me only one teacher. Okay, yeah, that's what I was gonna ask you. Thank you. Okay, so we'll have groups of three and maybe one group of uh, four, okay? And I want you to discuss these questions. Um, okay, here you go. Hello. And you, ¿y tu mami? ¿Qué pasa con tu mami? ¿Mi tía? Tu mami, ¿qué pasó con tu mami? Con mi tía. Oh, con tu tía es. Ok, ¿qué pasó con tu tía? Está en el baño. Ah, ok. Vaya, de acuerdo. Tú vas a recibir la clase por ella. <risa> eh, creo que sí. Ah, ok. Bueno, well, mira, yo tengo que ir a, a, a supervisar a otros grupos, ok? Así que dile a tu mamá a tu tía que... Okay. 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 Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> in English, please. <laughs> in English. Okay. Teacher, the Microsoft thing. is, uh, uh, is uh, noise off. Se escucha muy suave. ¿El qué? No sé, se le escucha muy suave. No ¿Me escuchan si suave? Yo. Sí, hoy sí. ¿Me escuchan suave o, o, o no? Hoy, hoy no, hoy mejor. No sé, I creo que es mi conexión. Es normal. It's normal. Ok. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not here. You continue. When did Anna start working in Unilever? Anna started working in Unilever in 2011, I think. 2011. Uh -huh. From? Okay. No, no, no. Sería from. Working for a year ago, I worked in this company. For, uh -huh. She started working, she started working at Unilever in 2000. She quit, let me ask the teacher. Teacher. Yeah. Teacher, uh, we are answering the number two and the answer must be used using the verb quit in past. So, because the question says, why did she quit her job in Unilever? So the answer should be, she, I don't know, the, the past so quit is quit. Yes, it's, uh, it's actually quit. It's, it's an irregular verb. Ah, okay. So she quit. Okay, she quit because was offered a new job in Panama. Okay, that will be the, the answer. Yeah. She quit because she was offered a new job in Panama. And Juan Francisco? This question is about you. It's about you. Have you, have you uh, no, ever done is. independent job, jobs? The teacher is here. Maybe she can help us. 
in my in my in my in my case experience in that case excuse me okay andres in my case i do i independent don't, don't, don't speak Spanish. The teacher is coming. Have you ever done independent job, please? Uh, right now we are we are uh, trying to to have an independent job with my with my wife. But, but she she have no she sorry she have, she have um around five years working Luis, she have or sorry? she has she has she has sorry she has five years uh, working um at home uh, like a uh, freelancer uh, really yes she is. she she worked uh, like a freelancer and right now I am helping here with uh, some advisories. That's nice. How about you? Yes. Mark? Yes. With, with, we are trying to. With some advice, not advices, just advice. Advice, advice, accessories. Yes. Advice. advice. Yes. The thing is that advice is not, you cannot count it, it's uncountable. So you can't say advice. Oh, okay. Ad advice. Oh, okay. Advice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Um, just, just that. Uh, and, and she, she have. Um, she have uh, or she has. I, no, she have an e-commerce. She have or she has. She has. I, I'm not sure. Yes, she has. Let me remember. She has a, a perfume shop in in um, online. Oh, yes. Nice. Good for her. Yes, and, and her own business with um, marketing, digital marketing. Excellent. Nice. Yes. And what about you, Eddie, or Marvin? Uh, it depends. It depends. There are ones that I like, and there like are it? other ones that I, I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> For example, if, if you ask me if I like hard liquids like Petrov, or caña rica or something like that. Caña rica. They're not like they're not bad liquors, <laughs> but I don't like it. But if you ask me if I if I like um, whiskey or tequila or wine, I can tell you totally yes because I work with those categories. Okay. Yeah, but that's what I do. Are you getting Melissa in trouble? No. <laughs> okay. It sounded like you were you were get you were being um, you know, you're like they're they're asking you questions, you're like, ah, what what can I answer? <laughs> no, no it's, it's just about that, our job. It's, yeah, it's about my job and if, if I like the alcoholic beverage and I, I say it depends. On what kind of oh. alcoholic beverage? <laughs> what kind of alcoholic beverage? Okay. What do you prefer? In this moment, I prefer whiskey. Oh, why? Yeah, it, it's weird that a, a, a woman loves or likes whiskey. Um, that like, is a category just for men. But I prefer that for, how do you say, por encima de todo? On top of our everything. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can drink uh, a glass of wine, but if there's an option of whiskey, I move to whiskey. 
Mm, interesting. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. So we were talking about that. That's good. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys in the main room. Thank you. Okay. Here. Yeah, you can't escape me. <laughs> okay. The right. teacher is coming. <laughs> yeah. Run, run for your life. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So let's talk about these two questions or three, uh, well, three questions that we can answer about. Um, so the first one is, um, so in, when did Anna start working in unit lever? Uh, 2011. Okay. Um, okay, do you say at 2011 or or do you say in 2011? I don't know. Uh, at, I think at. Okay. When you're talking about years, a specific year, you use the word oh. in. Okay. So, for example, we are in the year 2021. Okay. I started learning English in 2018. I started, uh, I was born in 1990, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. All right. So um, we always use in when we're talking about years. Okay. So, okay. okay thanks. All right. So she started working there in 2011. And when did she stop working there? 2016, I think. In 2016, you're right. Very good. Next question. Why did she quit her job in Unilever? For the opportunity in Panama. Yeah, the opportunity in Panama. Exactly. Okay. Have you ever done any independent jobs? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay. Andres has, who else has done it? Some people? Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. So um, now in this, this conversation, we talked about uh, words like um, until, since, or long. We talked about those words. Um, we also um, talked about, let me see, yeah, let me share this. Okay, so if, if you notice in the conversation, we have words like, um, so from to, right? From means when you start um, a specific time. And then two is the moment that you finish, right? So from 2011 to 2019, okay? We also use the word for when we're talking about a, a specific, or better said, a period of time. Uh, we use for to talk about um, years, months, days, um, hours. It, decades, okay, uh, weeks, okay, uh, and then we use the word until to talk about when something finishes, then implies that um, something started after, and since means that something started at a specific time, 
and continues until this moment. And for long means a long period of time, okay? And that's actually something that we're looking at the time expressions here, okay? So here it's a little bit more, um, it's, it's summarized, okay? So I actually need a volunteer to help me read this. Who can help me read? Uh, me. Okay, me, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Help us out, please. Use plus, use plus, no, I'm sorry. Use for plus period of time. I worked in Diana for seven years. Use since specific point in the past. I have worked this since 25. Use from to state the start and end of time. I stay this there, I'm sorry, there from January to November. I use them to introduce a new event, event in, a, in a series. I worked in the company until 2000, 2011, then I quit. Use until to mark the end of an activity period of time I worked in Panama until my project was over. Thank you very much, Jerry. We really appreciate it. Okay, so like as was saying, four is used for a period of time, like years, months, uh, weeks, days, um, decades, et cetera, et cetera. Since we use the same, the same idea, but we use it with a specific point, point in the past. So if, if something started in the past and we say specific time, I gave you an example before. I said, for example, I have been allergic to peanut butter since I was a child. So I was a child, that moment started in the past. It's a specific moment in the past. And then all the way until today. Or I can say, for example, um, I have been working, uh, I have been working today since six in the morning. So it means I started at six in the morning at a specific time in the past, and then it continues up to now. Okay. From is when we're using uh, that starts at a period of time and it finishes at another period of time. So we have, we usually use from and then to. So just like here, right, you can see that we have from, oh, we have the word from and then, and then we have the word to, right? And so this tells us, this first part tells us when it begins and this second part tells us when it's finished, okay? Then it tells us a sequence of events First this happened, then this happened. And the word until means that it's finished at a specific time, right? Okay. All right, any questions about this? Miss, so you use things uh, to specific points in the past, but of an activity that hasn't ended or not necessarily? Right, exactly. Um, the for and since, both of them imply that we do not um, we do not finish, right? It continues until this moment. At least it until this moment. It could continue for 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 more time, but minimum until this moment. Okay. Okay. So yes, it so it's not finished up to now. Maybe it finishes right now, but all of this time it continues. Okay. The word since, if you want to know in Spanish, it just means this day, right? So if you think about the word this day, right? So for example, this day que te conozco, um, it is así. And what that means is like, Desde que te conozco, empecé, empecé a conocerte en algún momento y continúo conociéndote. You don't stop knowing that person, right? So, 
that it's the same thing. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. In that case, guys, um, I'm going to ask you guys to finish this sentence off for homework. Uh, the instructions are read about Nicole's work experience and fill in the blanks using four since from to from to right and then long. So right here, this one right here. This shouldn't this shouldn't take you very long. Okay, this shouldn't take you very long at all. Okay, but I don't want you just to do this. Okay, so this you're going to complete. Um, you you just have to complete it with the word with these words that's not going to take you long that's going to take you like two minutes to do it's not meant and then but what i what i need you guys to really work on is um give me a moment okay what i really need you to work on is this this is going to be a little bit more the part that's going to take you a little bit longer. So this is your turn. It says, talk about talk about your work experience. Create a story similar to the one in exercise five. Use time expressions. And in case you're not sure, you don't remember what it is. This is the one, right? So the one that is for homework. You're not only going to complete with the correct words, but you're also going to create a story about your work experience using this as an example. That's gonna be the homework. Okay? Sounds good? Yes, did you? Any questions? Okay. And please, oh, by the way, please, please, please make sure you do this because tomorrow we're gonna be, we're going to be presenting in front of the class. So todos van a pasar y van a decir ahí sus, sus historias, así es que por favor completen, háganlo, porque si no, no van a tener nada que decir. Ok. All right. Yes, okay. teacher. I lost connection. Can you repeat again, please? Oh, ok. So, the whole, first you're going to be doing this homework, which is right here, right? Ok, so you're just going to be filling out the story with words like for, since, from, to, and long. Ok, so... You're just going to go ahead and read story complete. Once you have done that, you're going to do one that is similar for yourself. You're going to talk about your work experience, create a story similar to the one in exercise five, and use the time expressions. So you're going to use this as an example for your work, your work experience. Okay, does that make sense, Jerry? Okay. Yes. Yeah. And we're going to be presenting this tomorrow. So, todos van a presentar en frente de la clase. Okay, so, tienen que estar listos, porque si no, no van a tener nada, nada que decir. Okay? All right. So, that's it, guys. That's all for today. Um, oh, let me quickly take attendance. I forgot to take this. Okay. So, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Great. Andres. Present teacher. Edgar. Present teacher. Elsie, Janet. Present teacher. Fabiola. Present teacher. Katie. Present teacher. Irene. Present. Present teacher. Johnny. Josue. Present teacher. Uh, jury. Present teacher. Carla. Sorry, teacher. I am. Uh, Carla. Wait, yo wait Present the... teacher. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alguien, alguien contestó y dijo. Juan Francisco. Yo voy después de Josué, teacher. Okay. Yo dije que raro la voz de Carla se hizo. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Thank you, Juan Francisco. Carlo. <laughs> Okay, Carla, I, I got you. Okay. Yeah, Melissa? yeah, teacher. Melissa? Present teachers. Okay, good. Um, 
Luis. Present teacher. Manuel. Present teacher. Marvin. Present teacher. Good. Warren, uh, sorry, Wendy. Wendy? No. Werner. Present teacher. Yvonne? Present. Francisco? Jenny? Present teacher. Wonderful. Okay. Estamos. Okay, guys, that will be all. Um, today, let, uh, ahora le toca a Edgar. No sé si Edgar. Ah, Edgar, ¿se va a poder quedar? Uh, puedo, puedo cederlo, teacher. ¿Puede qué? Puedo ceder el, el, el día ah, por otro. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, ¿Alguien quiere, quiere ayuda personalizada ahí para el día de hoy para cambiar ahí con, con Edgar? ¿No? Ok. All right. No problem. Uh, vamos a ver cu cuándo lo, lo metemos entonces y in algún otro momento. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, thank you. Thank All right. you teacher. Okay, guys, take care. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye thank teacher. you, teacher. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Yeah. See you tomorrow, teacher. See tomorrow, Werner. Eh, ¿Se pudo, pudo cargar entonces el celular? Sí, es, yes, teacher. Es, uh, my chairs inmediate. Ok, very okay. good for video. Ok, great, excellent. Ok, very good. Ok, okay teacher. See you tomorrow, Werner. See you next week, teacher. No, sorry. Tomorrow, tomorrow. No, no for, no, for homework. No, no problem. <laughs> okay, sounds good. All right, take care.